Hey guys, and today with the latest soundbar from Ultimea, this is the Tapio One Pro. A compact size with a really nice build quality. 45 centimeters by 12 by 12, more or less. And in terms of build quality, in terms of price and the sound that it offers, in my opinion, it's a really good balance. Now, just taking a really quick look, when you look at the pictures, probably you will imagine that this is metal, this is plastic right over here, but no, this is a metallic right over here. All of this is constructed of metallic. The only plastics that we see are here and also on the extremities right over here and right over here and also on the feet and the support for the wall. So in terms of build quality, one of the best that we have seen for the price range that we are talking about, link will be down below. 45 centimeters by 12 by 12, which is a compact size that we can use on a TV stand, for example, or below our monitor. If we want to improve the sound quality that we have on our PC gaming setup or even on our projector, then this will be a great choice because it is compact and it gives us a great sound. 60 watt with 130 watt peak power. And as we can see, it has a driver tweeter on each side, and then it also has a full range driver on each side, and at the extremities, a inverted tube, which will enhance the bass. Now the bass is really nice, the sound output is also great, sound clarity crystal clear, and a great volume. Just as a comparison with my MacBook Pro, can see that there is a huge difference and the MacBook Pro is a good example because it's a laptop that I use on my daily basis and you have probably seen a lot of videos in terms of audio it's great fidelity is higher than we have right over here but in terms of volume this one is much higher and it has a good sound quality having in mind what we have for the price that we get. Now in terms of connectivity it is complete with a HDMI arc auxiliary in USB by the way for those that ask, hey Robert, USB is it to connect to a PC? No, it's to put a USB drive with musics that you have and then with the remote control you will be able to change those musics, fast forward, rewind and so on and so forth, but I will talk about that in just a few moments. Besides, we also have auxiliary in, the DC in and we connect also via Bluetooth. Now, the remote control that comes, it's really simple to use. It's an infrared remote. It has the main buttons to turn on, off, and the mute. And then on the top, we will have the selection, Bluetooth, HDMI, optical, auxiliary, or USB. And then if we use a pen drive, we will have the buttons right over here for play and pause, and also the volume and fast forward and rewind. Below that, we have the equalizer modes, which are six, and we can also amount of bass that we want. Finally, we also have a turn on and off LED, which means that if we turn it off, when we are touching the remote, we will see the LED indication right over here, volume and so on and so forth. But if we turn it off, then after one minute without touching the remote, the LED will be completely off. So in case you put this on your bedroom and you don't want to have any LED during the night, then this is an option 
that it's really great. Now, besides the build quality that I've already mentioned, this is a compact size soundbar. So if you want to put this on your desk setup for your computer, I do believe that it's a great size. I did put it on my 27 inches, but I could put it on my ultra wide, would be looking great as well. And of course, I can use it on a living room or somewhere that I want to enhance the sounds of my TV or my projector. If we want to put it on a wall, it's a really easy system here at the back. We just need to remove those two screws right over here and once we remove those two screws we can put it on the wall and basically that is it we can do the same on the other side and we just need to fit it on the wall basically that is it uh, control the soundbar via these buttons so if you are worried that you are going to lose your remotes in a few months don't worry because you can always use this and of course there are remotes that we have seen here on the channel infrared remotes and so on and so forth that we can replace on any system such as this the tapu one Pro. Conclusion wise, I would say that for the price that we get, it is a well built soundbar compact with a great punch in terms of sound and the sound is not bad at all. Actually, on the contrary, it's a good sound. If you ask me comparing to my MacBook Pro, how is the sound fidelity? The MacBook Pro wins, clearly wins because it has a different kind of sound, but it's lowest. This one is much higher and in terms of price, we cannot compare this soundbar with the MacBook Pro. So we are talking about two different devices, but if I had to use this on a conference room, on a living room for my movie watching needs connected to my MacBook Pro, I would honestly select the soundbar instead of having that low volume on the Mac. So here it is my opinion in terms of this soundbar that to me sounds great and I did love the build quality that they put into this and also the price that it's great for what we get. In terms of more specifications, link down below. Hope that you guys are having a great day. If the video was helpful in some way, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. Today with the Ultimea Tapu One Pro. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.